Hello everyone, Black Ice here and welcome back to Pokemon Sun. Now hopefully with less sneezing. Anyway, in the last episode we made our way through various parts of Vast Pony Canyon including a pretty big cave system which we have now overcome and we are, wait, did we check this? Yeah, we probably checked that. Did we check this though? No, okay, but, oh, okay, well we can't go on the bridge yet, I guess we have to wait for Lily. Phew, this canyon is truly a difficult path to walk. And you even make the Vast Pony Canyon seem like nothing at all, Black Ice. I don't know about that. It was, like, sort of challenging to get to this point. But you know what? I've overcome my fears enough to cross even a high bridge like this one. Alright, in before something, like, takes out the bridge as she's going over it or something along those lines. I am not going to be afraid of heights anymore. Next time, I should be even be able to tackle that bridge on Mahalo Trail. Yeah, in fact, I think... Th Watch this. This is my trial. Alright, her trial's like literally walking across a bridge. Alright, we get to look at her Z dance again. Yeah, she just puts her arms in like a Z formation. Yeah, this one looks like... Eh, I don't know actually which one is higher up or not, but I see an item down there. I'm not sure if we missed it or just haven't been to that part yet. There's some Murkrow. Oh, are they gonna attack her? Or maybe she'll just run across, I don't know. You took like three steps, Lily. Come on, you can do it. There you go, she's running. Oh, Anna Murkrow is coming. It's just a bird, Lily. You can just like punch it. Or, you know, walk past it. Birds are afraid of people. You know, for like the most part anyway. Oh yeah, she's she's not backing out. She yeah, she just ran right through. Those Murkrow were nothing. Oh. Yeah, oh, I agree. Do we get to battle the Murkrow at least? Black Ice, I did it. I made it all the way across. I've cleared my trial. Alright, would you like one of those trial metal things? No, the Murkrow were actually just nice. Alright, well that's good. That's a... You know, I, I kind of thought they were going to be mean to us. I completed my first trial. Amazing, right, Black Ice? Yeah, you totally walked across that bridge. You showed physics who's boss, I guess, by not falling down. Hee <laughs> hee. Good job, Lily. Mudsdale, do you want to rest too? you are got to be kidding me. I healed up my Pokemon right before we went to cross the bridge because I thought maybe something important might happen. And then she just heals up her Pokemon anyway. I mean, look, Lily, I appreciate it. Again, and you've passed how in the friendship power rankings, but... Like, come on, I used my healing items already. I have Hyper Potions and Revives and even lots of Ethers too. Though, I'm not sure I brought enough Max Repels for a path like this one. Alright, well, can I have some of those healing items? I'll, like, pay you for them. Lily, you're sure doing your best. Yeah, shut up, Rotom Dex. You don't, you don't get an opinion on this matter. Although I do have to agree, she's doing pretty good. Oh, geez. Hey, we got a, uh, oh well, a wild Pokemon encounter, but also a Zygarde cell to collect. To Boldor. Man, I really wish the wild Pokemon variety in this area specifically was a little bit more diverse, instead of just Boldor, Dugtrio. That's about it. Kind of annoying, but eh. I guess it's not a huge deal. Anyway, we do get the Zygarde cube, and is this one of the things we go up to? No, it's just those things coming out of there. And actually, you know what? Let's see what these things are that are coming out of there. We're not going to now because probably a Bulldor is going to stop our, our path. Oh, no, it's a Golbat. Wow, it's actually a Pokemon with some variety to it. We're going to run anyway, though. If we can, we might not actually be able to. In fact, uh, we might just be stuck with using a heavy slam. Yeah, and now we really can't get away because it used Mean Look. All right, that's fine, I'll fight you. Oh, you can't call for help, you just got here. You're not even hurt. It's not gonna come. Oh. All right, well, I guess we really don't have it. No, I'm not trying to escape. I accidentally just mashed the button anyway. um. I guess we go for the Heavy Slam, and let's take out the weakest one first. Again, we should be way heavier than any of these fools. And speaking of fools, they're just going to keep raising my defense, which is fine by me. Uh-oh, that's a special attack, though. I think. I think that was Venishock? I actually wasn't paying attention and, and or, you know, mashing the button to skip text. Alright, that's fine. That's uh, not a bad attack, because I think... Oh, whoops. Um, I think it's like at the point where it's not gonna call for help and I'm not referring to this one specifically because there's already two out But 
I think if we used it on the other Golbat once this one's defeated... Oh, and stat changes are eliminated. Alright, well I guess that gets rid of my stamina. Anyway, my point is, it won't call for help, we should be able to KO it in two more heavy slams. I believe. I believe. I hope so, anyway. Dang, it kind of sucks, though, that they get to reverse my stat changes. But, you know, if they just keep reversing my stat changes, I'm, like, kind of okay with that. I gotta say, though, I'm surprised Heavy Slam isn't doing a little bit more damage. I get that's not stab or super effective, but at the same time, it's a giant horse covered in mud versus a bat. You know, bats, they're, they're not real heavy. You know, they fly for a living. I mean, I, you know, I can't say what they do for a living. That's, uh completely up to the bat in question. However, they, they do a good deal of flying. Anyway, able to take out the goal bats. Good job, Mudsdale. Alright, let's see what these guys are. No, come back out, you jerks. I'm just gonna stand right here. You have to fight me now. I swear if it's... Oh my gosh. I was gonna say, I swear if it's Doug Trio. You know what, Doug Trio? You've annoyed me enough where I think I'm just going to send you to the center of the planet. So you know what, Mudsdale? Let's give him the tectonic rage. Oh. Well. Well, I guess not then. <laughs> oh, wait, huh? Does this work like Earthquake so even if they're underground, it hits them? Or is it just going to do this animation and say, you missed? Because that would be equally funny. <laughs> it did! It really did! <laughs> oh my god. And we don't even get to use another Z-move again. That is hilarious. I've never had that happen before. Anyway, we'll get ready to use the high horsepower when it gets up from underground. That is too funny. It even lets the animation play if you're gonna miss. And I know Z-moves, I think they normally have like over 100 accuracy, so the chance of them missing is super low. But obviously if something uses dig or fly, then it's going to miss and you're gonna run into those situations, but... That's just, that's just kind of funny. I, I thought for sure they would at least say, you missed, before they even let the animation play out, but... You know, fine by me. Adds a little bit of humor. That's probably what the devs are thinking, too. Honestly. Um, what way do we want to push this? Probably down? Wasn't really paying attention. Okay, you know what? Here's what we're gonna do. We are going to get the strongest Pokémon, put it in the front of the party, and then we're going to use a Repel or two. You know what? I'm going to go for it. <laughs> I'm going for the Tectonic Rage again. But I swear, if you're going to use Dig right now... Okay, didn't. Thank goodness. So we will defeat it. Earth Power a little annoying. But, you know, not going to deter Mudsdale in any meaningful way. And if Mudsdale levels up, he might actually be the strongest on our team. Or she, whether, I, I don't know. I always lose track of the genders of the team. I think that we only have like one male Pokemon on the team. Oh wait, you don't get to see the underside of Dugtrio. Did you see that? It was still in its rock thingy. Interesting. I mean, not really, because they've never, well, I don't think they've shown what Dugtrio looks like under there. Anyway, Mudsdale level 45. Very nice. And please be the strongest. I mean, if not, we have a rare candy, so we can just make a Pokemon the strongest. Yeah, 45. It's going to be the strongest. All right, so now we go for repels because these guys are like getting real annoying. And they are in this pocket somewhat. No, they're not. This is medicine. I keep forgetting. They always change up the way the bag works in, like, every different Pokemon game. It's kind of annoying, honestly. Uh, but we'll just use, uh, no, well, not the super ones. We'll use the regular ones, because we have a lot of them, and the game just kindly asks you if you want to use another one when it runs out, so. That's always real nice. We're going to use Machamp here to shove this, oh, wait a minute. No, we don't want to hit it that way. Because if we push it here, it's like a nice little pocket for, oh, never mind. We messed up the puzzle. We messed it up. Come on, Machamp. Run faster than that, you friggin' idiot mistake maker. Moron. Dumb Pokemon jerk. Anyway, let's go back in. Let's do the puzzle right this time. We want to push that one straight down. I was correct, but 
it looked like that wall was like the perfect slot for it, but then I forgot you push them into like things in the ground, not into wall slots. And I like how you don't have to like ask it every time you want to... Oh, wait, what? No, you, you, you keep pushing it. You what, what are you doing? There we go. And our item is a full restore. Very nice. Alright, this one... Wow, this is the world's easiest puzzle. It required, like, basically zero thinking. Alright, well, whatever. That's fine. And I think once they're in the ground like that, you don't have to solve them again. Alright, so it looks like we have a ladder there. And over here we have... I'm not exactly sure, but I would like to... Machamp, leave now. You're, you're fine. Alright. It's an outside place. Oh, this must be where that item was that we saw earlier. Yep, that's totally it. It's a dusk ball. It's pretty good. There's got to be something on the other side of this somewhere. Yeah, there is. I knew they wouldn't make us walk through the tall grass for no reason. I, I, we have a repel anyway, so I guess it really didn't matter. I was, like, trying to be careful not to encounter any wild Pokemon, but... I mean, we've seen the three wild Pokemon that can exist here, so... That's why I don't mind using a repel. I normally don't like to... But, you know, the game has forced my hand. Anywhere for the sake of research, just like my idol, Professor Birch. Oh my gosh. He is a rap star scientist. Ikaika? Ikaika? Is that what his name? Ikaika. Yeah, I guess so. Anyway, Mudsdale will have a pretty easy time against his muck. We'll just use high horsepower. Oh, right, I forgot to heal up. Well, in that case, uh, let's just make sure we one-shot it. Use a knock off. Oh, no! That's gonna... Is that gonna knock off the item? Nope, I guess not. I thought that's what that did. It did a lot of damage, but... You know, we, we get to keep the Z-move, so therefore we get to use the Z-move. Or we get to keep the Z-Crystal, I should say. Let's see what Muck looks like when he gets sent to the core of the Earth. It's just such a cool animation. All these Z-Moves, they're like Dragon Ball Z-style, over-the-top, crazy moves. So cool. I gotta say, I like Z-Moves a lot more than I like Mega Evolution. Uh, Magnezone. I could double-kick him. Yeah, actually, I think it would be smart to leave Mud still out for Magnezone. I kinda don't think we'll survive the first turn, though. So, you know what? No, I'm not gonna let Mud still get KO'd for no reason. Let's use a Hyper Potion. And the reason for that is because we don't, I don't think we really have anyone that's great against a Steel type at all. Oh, right, we have Counter, so that's not even gonna work. I forgot we got rid of Double Kick. I mean,. It would work, but I highly, highly doubt he's gotten any physical attacks, so... Yeah, let's just go ahead and send out, um... Yeah, everyone's a bad matchup. Probably just Raichu, I guess. Just go for the sheer power. Plus, he can't paralyze us. If he uses electric attacks, they won't hurt very much. If he uses steel attacks, they'll hurt just like a, a little bit, maybe. No, they're also not very effective. All right, well, maybe Raichu was actually the secret matchup that uh, we needed this entire time, and I just failed to see that. Oh, right, steel does resist psychic. Okay, not exactly sure what I was thinking, but you know what? We can go for one more psychic before we heal up because we have a chance to lower a special defense, which would at least make this go by a little bit faster. Of course, he's not going to do that. Oh, wait, Discharge, not going to... Oh, no, that hurt quite a bit, actually. I thought it wouldn't do nearly as much as Flash Cannon, but actually, now that I think about it, they might even be the same power. They're at least similar power if they're not the same. Actually, no, I think Flash Cannon might be stronger. I don't remember the power of Discharge thing. I think it might be like 75, and maybe Flash Cannon's like 80. Not a huge difference, but... Actually, no, it looks like the... Because he... Did he just use... No, he used Dischar Discharge again. Okay, is that... This is going to lower my physical defense, so I should be okay with that. Not even sure why you have this in your moveset, buddy. Uh, you got no physical attacks. You got... You got Discharge, Flash, Cannon, Screech, and... Something that I'm guessing is not a physical attack. We won't have to find out, because we crit it. And it is KO'd. Good job, Raichu.
and Mudsdale gonna get a little bit as well. The skills of Pokemon are needed when examining places here and there. Yeah, that's true, but you lost your Rap Touch, dude. Oh well. It was good while it lasted. Let's see. Send Rabombi to front, why not? Rabombi is the weakest in terms of level at this point. Hopefully we'll get some good matchups for Rabombi along the way. Hello, you punk trainer who probably has Poison-type Pokémon and therefore Rabombi's probably not going to be very good. But I won't judge you based on your appearance. We'll see, we'll, um, see what you actually have first. Persian, alright, I was wrong. Thankfully so, because Fairy is better than Dark. And I think we might be faster too, so I think the Dazzling Gleam will be our best opening move here. Maybe I should use Pollen Puff, actually. Well, no, I guess it doesn't really matter a whole lot. I love how all of our attacks are super effective. Rabombi is like our Darkness Slayer. It's pretty cool, actually. Honchkrow. Also part Dark. But it does have the flying type that scares me a little bit. And we might be slower. We're not slower, so this might actually be a one-hit KO. It sure is. Rabombi is a freaking beast Pokemon. Love it. It's been a very great asset to the team. I got fired up and lost, naturally. Well, it's better than not getting fired up and lost. Losing, even. So, uh, good battle. It was it was fun while it lasted. We have another bridge and a person who is... Oh, you're special. You look different than everyone else. Oh, you're a trial thing person. You have the thing on your... You have a ring that shows that or something. Oh, now that's a great composition. I could paint a picture of you. The visitor to Pony. I guess I didn't introduce myself, though. I'm Mina. I'm the captain. I mean, I sort of am. I actually just wander around doing my art, so I don't have an actual trial or anything. But Vast Pony Canyon sure is wonderful, huh? Yeah, it is pretty nice. Uh, once you have been through this place, you can really get to understand why that Illumo boy designed his trial the way he did, right? I don't even remember his trial, to be honest. Oh, yeah. Ooh, yeah. Here. Uh, as a to Take this as a token of our acquaintance. Fairy MZ. Wow, thank you. That's very kind. Give him that to Rabombi. It's the Fairy MZ. Get your Z on. I will. I'm the captain and also I've got to come up with a trial. Maybe it can involve painting pictures and picking flowers? Maybe a trial like that could be cool. See you later then. Aloha, aloha. Wait, we're not even going to battle? What? You can't just say, oh, I'm the captain, but, uh, you know, just take a Z crystal because I don't really have a trial. I mean, you can, but I'd prefer a battle if at all possible. Um, Fairy MZ. I don't even remember what Rabombi's holding at this point. Bugney MZ. Ah, okay, that's right. Well, I guess it really doesn't make a huge difference, except we have, um, possibly a better variety with, um, Fairy MZ just due to a uh, Draining Kiss. It might work as, like, a Z move that also, uh, that also absorbs health. I highly doubt it would, but it's possible at least. Alright, well, she's just gonna leave and give us the Z-Crystal, which I'm okay with. Another punk. Please have dark types, actually. Let's have a party. A rough-and-tumble Pokemon party. You know, that sounds like a good idea. Just have Pokemon tournament battles and whatnot. Punk guy Adam, if that is your real name. Pangoro, alright. So it's fighting and it's dark. So, Rubombi, definitely going to be faster, I would say. So, basically all there is to do is see what the Fairy Z-Move looks like. I love seeing all these new... Oh, Twinkle Tackle. This one will do 100. This one will do 160. Yeah, we want the 160. I don't think the 100 one would absorb health, but I wanted to see if it was any different at all. Oh, and again, we know the Fairy Z-Move dance, even though Mina never taught it to us. Twinkle Tackle. It sounds real dumb, but let's see what this looks like. That was... it was okay. Nothing too impressive. It's a little bit pretty, but... Yeah, that was mostly kind of... Kind of not all that great. But whatever, it got the job done. Your attacks were effective. I felt them all the way to my heart. You mean attack, because it only took one to take you out. 
I don't know why I was talking like I was doing a diss track there. Uh, we're not going to use another repel because I don't think there's wild Pokemon out here. Alright, this is our third bridge. Will we find something important here? No, apparently not. Only the first two bridges were important enough to have an event happen. And also we get to walk down these cool, cool tree vine thingies into a patch of grass that we will skip in order to... Oh, wait a minute, what's this way? You know what? I do want to repel. I changed my mind. Thank you. Actually, um, having Rabomi at the front, the, I was going to say the repel might not even work, and uh, I was right, unfortunately. So who dares challenge... Oh, hey, it's a actual different wild Pokemon, Machoke. I mean, your fate is going to be the same as all the others who have crossed us. Um, so yeah, we'll just use Dazzling Gleam again. I could probably go for the Draining Kiss, but I don't want to chance it. Yeah, in fact, I'm almost positive I could just go for the Draining Kiss next time. Alright, we'll keep it in mind. Good job, Rabomi, you've done it. Hello, Karate Dude. I'll win. That's all there is to it. Oh, I am so, so sorry to disappoint you, especially if you have to happen to have any Fighting-type Pokémon whatsoever. It looks like you only have one, and yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm very... Wait a minute. Yeah, Polyrath is part fighting, for sure. Water fighting, 100%. I don't think we fought one, though. Eh, we'll just use Dazzling Gleam. Again, I don't want to chance it. And I'm almost positive Polyrath would have more special defense than um, Machoke. And either way, it did take more damage. Or a lot less damage, I should say. Alright, it's using Mind Reader, which means it might have a one-hit KO move. So I'm just going to stick with the Dazzling Gleam again. Again, just don't want to risk it. Actually, I could have probably just used the Fairy Z move, but eh, whatever. By the time I figured it out, the Pokemon faded anyway. I lost. That's all there was to it. Well, you guys are terrific. Yeah, I know, right? Rabombi's awesome. So, uh, thanks for playing. You lose. Maybe you'll get a prize next time. Ooh, a full heal. Alright, that's, like, mildly okay. It's not something I'm just going to sell anyway, so... There's that. Alright, so we don't want to... Wait a minute, what's up here then? I thought that looped around and it... Oh, it kind of just does. Okay, that's just a shortcut to get there. No, you don't need to use another repel. Not yet. Not until Rabomi gets a little bit stronger. Alright, just making sure we're going the right way. Again, we're still finding these pillars, so that means we're on the right track. Probably. Alright, what is over here? I don't know if I want to go in there. Is that going to make me, like... Alright, let's battle these trainers first, then we'll go through there. Oh yeah, because that looks like it's the end. We're aiming for the top, so be prepared for us to go all out. Alright, I would expect no less from an ace trainer such as yourself. You are an ace trainer, aren't you? Yes, you are, Hiroshi. And Absol, alright. Just bring on the dark types. Like, please. Absol has a chance to be faster than Rabombi, I think, so... Let's go for the Draining Kiss, and it also give us an opportunity to sort of test the waters to make sure that is a good move to use, and also does pressure, so I definitely don't want to use Dazzling Gleam against it. We are faster, though. How much damage will do? That's a good amount of damage. Psycho Cut. Don't crit, please. And it may have... No, it just does lots of damage. Alright, well, we'll get some of that health. Oh, no, it uses Sucker Punch. Wow. Alright. So we'll get a little bit of that health back. Let's see what his next Pokemon is. If it's slower than Rabombi, we'll probably want to keep Rabombi out just to use Draining Kiss, get the rest of our health back. Rabombi to level 44. Very nice. Lapras. Yeah, we're not going to keep Rabombi out for this. Um, in fact, let's just send out Raichu. I didn't want to send out Decidueye because Lapras is also part Ice type. Although, now that I think about it, our only electric-type attack move with Raichu, because we haven't been to Pony Plains yet, is Volt Switch. So, we'll just give it a nuzzle. Paralyze it, hopefully prevent it from attacking this turn, and then... Ooh. Okay, I mean, I know that wasn't going to do a lot of damage, but dang, did it not do a lot of damage. Yeah, we're going to Volt Switch for sure. I was thinking of maybe staying out for some Psychics. Oh, right, I could have used the... Ah, I could have used the Z-move. Alright, well, that's fine. 
Better not risk it. Alright, so who could take an Ice Beam if it was coming at him? Probably Wishy Washy. And will it use Ice Beam is the real question. I know we don't have any um, actual... Oh, okay, well, that works out just fine then. It's fully paralyzed anyway. Uh, we'll just use Faint Attack because water is going to be not very effective, I'm almost positive. And Lapras continues to be paralyzed, plus Faint Attack cannot miss, which is a very, very nice bonus. Even if it is like a somewhat weak move otherwise. It's using Safeguard, which I don't believe gets rid of the paralysis. Yeah, it just prevents further status or er, status ailments. And you have lost, friend, but you put up a way better fight than I thought you would. Anyway, Wishy-Washy to level 45. Lots of Pokemon are going to get some good experience from this. Raichu to level 44. You guys are the tops. I felt the strength in your heart. Actually, only two Pokemon got experience at all from that. I don't know why I said lots. Probably because I thought Rabombi was in there initially, but no, it, it wasn't. The way you guys trust each other, I want to see it all. Alrighty, you've got it then. But I warn you, it won't go easy, veteran Heather. Veteran of what? The standing there in the, in the middle of... Oh, hi Stoutland. Believe you're just a normal type? I'm tempted to keep Rabo Oh, well... I'm really tempted to keep Rabombi out and just use Training Kiss, but I, I'm afraid of Stoutland's attacks. We'll give it a try, though. Or, you know what? Let's try the um, Draining Kiss Z-Move thing just to see if it'll heal up any HP. I don't think it will, but it might. And if it doesn't, it might at least get the job done. We'll have to see. We're doing it for science, is uh, the whole point here. Because I know some Z-Moves are different depending on what moves you use them with. Alright, goodbye, and yeah, that's, that's, oh no. Sorry, Rabombi. Even though, I mean, Retaliate, oh, and a critical hit. Retaliate's only supposed to be, like, super powerful when you, um, when you KO'd a Pokemon before, and, like, in the move before, but it just seems to do tons of damage no matter what. Anyway, let's go test out our Leaf Blade. We haven't seen that yet. Ouch, right. I forgot you could do that. I switched into Decidueye because I'm like, Stoutland's got normal type. Wow, that was pretty good, too. But, yeah, I was thinking Stoutland's got normal type attacks. He won't expect to fight a ghost. Uh, he was prepared, though. Uh, Klefki's coming out, so let's switch into Tucannon. We haven't seen Tucannon yet, plus we can uh, attack it with some fire. Which I don't think fire is super effective against fairy. It is against steel, though, for sure. We'll have to see. Magic Room. Alright, so you're just going to... Pokemon's held items lose their effects. I don't even remember the held item that um, Toucanon has. I think it's like Sharp Beak still at this point in the game. Because we don't have Flyneum Z yet at all. Which I wonder where, when we're going to get that. I would like to see a Beak Blast Z move anyway. We're just going to get real fast and keep using... Um, what do you call it? Flame Charge. And I'll keep two cannon in for the ne- It's faster? What? Oh. You just block moves that I share with you, which I'm almost positive would be zero. I mean, what what can Klefki have that two cannon also has? We have uh, Beak Blast, Roost, the Flame Charge thing, Serena. Yeah, we'll keep battling for sure. Um, you are Grass and possibly Fighting. I think you're just Grass, though. Or maybe even Grass Fairy. Anyway. I don't think it had Brick Break either, so we'll go for the Beak Blast. I mean, yes, it's negative priority, and I'm not taking advantage of the speed at all, but I'm going for the one-hit KO here. Oh, and your special attack har harshly fell, so that's pretty nice. Yeah, it's probably just Grass. Maybe Grass Fairy? I, I, again, I don't know. Uh, let's just go for the Flame Charge, finish it off. Why take a second hit when you don't have to? Anyway, we've done it. Pretty solid battle right there. Two cannon to level 45. Still no m new moves. Nicely done. I dig it. Pokemon and trainers who trust each other. Yeah, that's right. I'm really wondering when we're going to find, like, a, a move tutor. 
because I would really like to learn new moves. I think it's like towards the end of the game if I remember right. And I think we're sort of getting to towards the end of the game. But I have actually no idea how close we are. Anyway, he's gonna send out Granbull, which is fairy type, probably. So I'm not sure how that's gonna do against Ghost, but we do have Leaf Blade, which may even be our strongest attack right now. Let's check. 70, 90. That's healing. And 80. Yeah, Leaf Blade's our strongest attack. So you know what? We'll go for Synthesis, get a little bit of HP back. And then we'll also get to see what Granbull has in store for us. Hopefully no Dark-type attacks. Alright, it's got Play Rough, which would be annoying, but not the end of the world. And we'll use Leaf Blade. Hopefully crit it. If not, it's just a real powerful attack. No crit. Oh no, that was a crit. Wow. Okay, and Granbull can roar. Right. So Granbull's pretty tanky, at least from the physical side. Let's go for a Beak Blast. I think the burn will help very much. And I think Tucanon can survive a oh, what? Hello? What did you use that made Beak Blast go first? Okay. Anyway, he's gonna send out Golem. We'll switch. Switch back into Decidueye. Because we don't have to worry about being a flying type anymore and being hurt against rocks. And I believe Golem is rock ground, so the Leaf Blade should just like actually t Oh right, it's a Lolan. Well, the Leaf Blade will still pretty much tear it apart. Maybe not quite as effectively as I once thought, but yeah, that's some decent damage. Not even a crit, so if we critted it, it would have gotten the job done. Using Stealth Rock, I gotta say, I love that Rock Cannon thing on its back that it used to launch the Stealth Rocks out of. Pretty neat. Still, we're gonna have to be careful if we switch into, like, two cannon, for example. Or if he's gonna, you know, like, use Roar or something to make us switch our Pokémon. I really hope he doesn't do that. He's gonna send in Gengar, which is a little bit scary. I'm gonna go for the Sinister Arrow Raid because, you know, Ghost against Ghost, but I think he's going to be faster. Which, uh, kinda scares me a great deal. But only one way to find out. It is faster, it's using Shadow Ball. I think that's the end of Decidueye's battles for here. Yeah. Sorry, Decidueye. I kind of wasn't sure exactly how that was going to end. Uh, but we have Wishy Washy, who actually has a Dark type move. So that'll help quite a bit against Gengar. Plus, we're like somewhat tanky ish, as uh, our school form anyway. And the stones that, you know, from Stealth Rock not going to do a whole lot of damage to us, so we don't have to worry about that. But let's just see how powerful Gengar is. Alright, not that powerful for a Gengar. Like, I thought that that would be the end of it, but I think we can even take another Shadow. Oh. Well, you know what then? You asked for it. I didn't want to. Oh, I, you know, I probably should have just used Brine. This is probably way overkill. Wow. Very barely hung in there. Good job, uh, Wishy Washy. And I can tell that wasn't actually because of the, um, the uh, affection thing from the Pokey Ami or whatever, because it didn't have the hearts appear. So he literally just survived with one HP. Anyway, get Vortexed. That's for KOing Decidueye. Alright, and yeah, no longer going to be a school anymore with one HP, so we're gonna want to switch out. Cloister. Um let's switch to Ooh. Oh, we might actually be in a little trouble here. Alright, we'll switch into Raichu and just hope we're faster. <laughs> And I'm not... Oh, yeah, also the Stealth Rock gonna hurt Raichu a little bit. A little bit more than I would have liked. Alright, at first I was gonna go for a Nuzzle, then a Volt Switch, but I'm just gonna go straight up for the Volt Switch. We are faster, which is nice, but will we get the job done? Okay, we do. Alright, not a whole lot to be afraid of there, as I initially thought. Good job, Raichu. Whoa, you've got a lot. I have no choice but to admit defeat. Well, you're out of Pokemon. That's the way the game works, dude. Buddy. Guy. Anyway, we're not going to go in here yet. I want to see what's on the other side of this. Because we didn't come from here. Oh, it's going to be a shortcut. Yeah, yeah, we want to open this, like, 100% for... Wait, why did it say there was a thing there? Oh, the, the repels. 
or not the repels, but the wild Pokemon, you guys are actually the worst. I don't know why I'm getting so annoyed with the wild Pokemon in this place. You'd think it's Mount Moon or something, but it has about the same Pokemon variety as Mount Moon. Mount Moon has Zubat, Geodude, and Paris. This has, um, all oh, right, we want uh, Machamp to come out, which is this? Yeah, I forgot the buttons to press. Uh, which is um, uh, Bulldore, Dugtrio, and I don't even remember what the other one was, but there was another one to give them credit. So yeah, that'll just lead straight out. So now we have a shortcut. Don't have to go through all that nonsense to get back to where we are. And let's go ahead and pass through what appears to be the end of Bass Pony Canyon. I'm not going to heal my Pokemon up just in case... Oh, wait a minute. That's a trial. What am I doing? I don't want to be here. That's going to be a trial, isn't it? Sorry, I'm not very good at running. Phew. Looks like you're nearly to the altar now, aren't we, Black Ice? Let me take care of Mudsdale for you. Take care of the rest of the team, too, Lily. By the way, you're amazing. When your Pokemon are full of energy, then a trainer can go anywhere in the world. Does it seem that way? Yes, it does. Um, okay. Yes, it looks like this is a trial, even Rotom Dex. Yeah, it's a Dex. <laughs> Rotom Dex is hinting towards it, so we're going to end the episode here because, well, one, a trial would take too long, and also I'm not really prepared for it. So um, next time, we will take on this trial and hopefully make our way to the altar to do all the things that we're supposed to be doing, which is like summoning legendary Pokemon or something. All right, but anyway, that's going to do for me for today. Thank you all so much for watching. Really hope you enjoy the video, and I'll see you in the next video. Till then, goodbye, everyone. Have a great day.